welcome back to more Play Fish Street. Someday Dad'll get one of them newfangled computers. I'm sorry. I hope the flash didn't scare this, you, Max. I got it. You got it. This is a keeper. Remember Not until that. I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just. She's just so confused. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well, I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that we far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. Crap. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13-year-old in self. If you want to eat. Dinner. How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. Man, I remember Chloe reading this. That's true. But no, not after today. Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like what a mess we made. Deal? I remember those cool drawings I did with <laughs> Chloe. I'll let her know that. So you, we can't go far. Whoa, it's all blurry here. Like I can't step out of the photographic bound. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous... I know I've seen those pictures before. So weird going this far back. Breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whale. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for Is that someday. Is this when Shit, he where died? Are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Aha! You can't hide. You Score. Fund. Keys, please. And I haven't really erased that much time. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. That's the only thing I can. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh, yeah. The bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries and... And it'll save the environment. <laughs> you sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? <laughs> Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Is she able to fix that? Did that erase that? No! <laughs> she actually erased time that much. Is that possible? I'm wondering how much...
I wonder if she would know. I wonder if she, Chloe would know that she can erase time still. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. going to be wet and cold every day. But Never, like Maxine. So that's why she was laughing so hard. I know. Sorry, Mad Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke a peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like Damn. whatever, bitch. Warren. He hooked up with Stella? How much time did we break up? He's having a trip. Oh no, Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. I would go straight to Chloe. Because it always has consequences doing this type of stuff. Where the the graphics look really bad outside there. It's just like coming in and out. Like outside the windows because it's like the textures are trying to catch up. Well, you got to remember this is PlayStation 4. You can hear the music very lowly, but I just didn't want to get in copy more copyright, so I stopped using music in this. I can't believe she... She changed that much of time. How is that wait whales on the shore? You can hear the music right now. It's very faint, but I'm okay with the wall. Uh believe it. No dialogue in the scene. This, this house looks so different. I wonder what Chloe looks like right now. Did they stop being friends? Max Caulfield. Taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor! That's episode three's ending, bro. Can she go back and fix that? That's how much of her chaos she did. Oh my god, I can't imagine what it's gonna be like for episode four if that's the ending of episode three, man. What the fuck? I was not expecting that. Will she like go back in time and try to refix that? Because she did that? Because 
that's insane. But you know what's gonna happen if she does refix it? She's gonna play with um the cards and it's gonna change certain things in the past still. Like it might it might affect the 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 timeline in ways you don't expect because if you change the timeline once, when you go back to refix it, there's always going to be little crumbs and little pieces that change, but they're small pieces. They're it's not big, huge pieces. Bro, that was a fucking weird ending for a episode. Cause you know she's gonna go back and fix that. Cause there's no way. Cause like, I think Chloe's in season episode episode four, and he's she's different. She looks the same as episode three, so she's definitely not gonna like that. And then she might, she might tell, she might tell Chloe she did that, and and but it it changed her in different ways. So I'm not entirely sure what it would have done, but that's insane. To put her in that much. Jeopardy. I don't think she's gonna want. It's either her dad died or she's in wheelchair, and and basically, like, like I don't even know. She can't even do anything. Like, that's so fucked. Oh man, we gotta we gotta skip this. I wanted to talk a little bit about that, but. No matter what, if you did change up that, you can't unchange it. I think you're going to have to do that, but that was crazy. Episode 4. End of the world party. The dark room. Alright. We're going to watch, we're going to play the dark room now. Previously on Life is Strange. <laughs> Previously on Life is Strange, man. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't you ever touch me again, freak! I will be doing Bull Before the Storm and Life is Strange too. I don't know if there is like a DLC for Life is Strange too, though. Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's yeah. bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Yeah. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the over and over. That's it. She's Listen, gonna go to the dark room this time. I found so. pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than a friend. Yeah. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she yeah. say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. And then we saw this, and then even, even Max was like, Damn, I changed everything. Life is Strange is a story-based game. You are all over consequences and decisions will impact the past, the present, and the future. Choose wisely. This game is crazy. I don't know if episode six 
for whatever reason you have ready for the next one does have a short in bite. This episode's and like definitely has a short. I was not expecting that at all, man. I can't believe it took me so long to play this game. gonna be like, what do we do? It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max, so pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. Mm. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Mm. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. Damn. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. What? At least... I'm alive here with you. This is insanely sad. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. Yeah. When I woke I up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. No. Yeah. It might be, but... I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together... I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe... I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. I was wrong. You're my best friend. 
Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. He's like living in an alternate reality, man. God. This is gonna be insanely cool. This episode, I can feel this episode being insanity. Pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Cody, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You Damn. always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Drink up, buttercup. Is this oh man. What are you gonna do to fix that? No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god, we covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <laughs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. <laughs> but I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. <laughs> are they okay? I mean, are they still happy together and everything? So now you're Dr. Bill? I guess they're good, considering they have to deal with me. They wow. laugh and hold hands. And I hope they still get busy, too. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and Dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Damn. Uh, 
No pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. Oh my god. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Oh, here's the DVD. Oh my god, I fell asleep. She was the one that fell asleep this time. <coughs> I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade <laughs> Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. How is she gonna text me? Yesterday was such a blast. It was great. Seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <laughs> <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's... Uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? <laughs> I'm on it, Chloe. Nothing here. I would think it would be in this cabin. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. 
Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Insane. I'm gonna make this a 45 minute one. Shoot me now. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but... Get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even Man. able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along and I will too this isn't how I want things to end what? what are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special I just wanted to no, feel like when no. we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today I want this time with you be my last memory. Okay, no. You understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. One sec. One sec. Oh. Chloe. I'll just drift asleep, dreaming of us here together, forever. I wonder if anyone else did this. I don't want to refuse. Cause I refuse, like. 
she's put it she's putting herself through hell thank you so much i feel like we're gonna go back anyway i'm so proud of you for following your dreams don't forget about me never i love you max <laughs> see you around sooner than you think I think we're gonna do it. Do we still have our powers? That's the only thing that I'm worried about. I'm sorry, William. No. This is the only thing. I hate doing these. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Jeez. Aha! You can't hide oh from me God. forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? This is insane. She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. No. William died. He's gonna die. But it's like William or Chloe. What's worse? Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, <laughs> whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Damn. I still think there's going to be like changes since we did this once and now we're doing it again to fix it.
I wonder if we're gonna talk to her about it in any way, shape, or form. You're alive, yes. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me? I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, <laughs> did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. No. I'm just spaced out too. Yeah. Welcome back to the real world, Max. Do we tell her? Or we can't. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzles. at all these it's so so close yet so far away we have to do three main things right um what things one decipher frank's logbook two get nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the vortex club parties with kate and rachel and see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages three beat step douche dan until he tells us about frank nathan and the dark room and I do have a gun now. Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. <sighs> Don't remind me. I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. I think this is where I'm gonna end it. Oh I my god. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. Yeah, we're, we're, we're definitely gonna end it there. Oh my god, that episode was insane ending at least and on top of it it was just i was not expecting that at all so definitely i hope you guys enjoyed um i'm gonna go and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys girls